Halsmik, fashion researcher and designer. I'm also the writer of the book Paradigm Shift in Fashion, which is being created for fashion brands and designers. This book is going to help them to make favorite clothes of great quality in an ethical way and make them affordable to everybody. This book is the finalization of my research of four years, which started in the second year of my fashion education at the Art Academy. It actually all started with my love for creating clothes, which I have been doing since I was six years old. So at the first year of my art education, I had created several garments um, in which I had to put a lot of love and energy and in which I had invested time and money. And at the end of the year, there was no purpose for those clothes anymore. So the only thing I could do was really throw them away or store them somewhere at the back of the closet. And I thought it was a shame. I thought there should be better solutions. And that's where my quest began. So I looked into sustainability and how it was being used in fashion. I really looked at the whole fashion chain on um, starting from the raw material, going to the production of the fabrics, going to the stitching of the clothes, sustainable use, uh, design possibilities and recycling initiatives. And this was a research of one year which resulted in a single magazine called Mode Vlinder, uh, which I had written in English and Dutch. And since I didn't have the resources for printing it, for publishing it, I decided to make an online platform where people could find it and download it. And this online platform, Mode Vlinder, now has become a public online database where people can find a lot of information on sustainability and fashion. After the launch of this single magazine and the first online platform, I kind of felt disappointed because now I had found a lot of sustainable solutions, but they were really far from fashion that I was studying at the Art Academy. And this made me question what fashion meant. What was the difference between fashion that I was learning and the sustainable fashion that I had found in my quest? I looked into fashion systems of the past 200 years I looked into the political and the economical developments, but still I felt as if I didn't reach the core of fashion. And by chance I found this book, Psychology of Clothes, which was written in 1930 by John Flugel, in which he describes the fundamental motives of wearing clothes. And this was very theoretical, so I wanted to understand what it meant in the daily lives of real people. I started interviewing people about their relationship to clothes. Why do they wear the clothes that they do? Why do they choose those clothes in, if they go into the shop? And how do they feel when wearing those clothes? And all this information really helped me to understand their needs. It really help, helped me to understand what happens between a person and his clothes and between different people because of the clothes that they wear. And at some point during my master, I got so inspired by this core of fashion, which consists of the psychological and the physical needs of the wearers and at the same time from the knowledge that I had obtained from Mode Flinder about the sustainable production, use and disposal of clothes, I thought there should be a way in which those two fields could be combined with each other. And since everything starts with the thoughts and then evolves into design of it, I decided to create a design system which was meant to create favorite clothes in an ethical way. An ethical way means, in this case, paying fair wages to the manufacturers and using biodegradable or recyclable materials. And of course, this would result in higher prices than we have today. And um, to still have the clothes affordable to everybody, I also decided to create a concept for a business model which would contribute to the customers, to the brands and to the manufacturers. Well, brands are a connecting link between the people who are going to make their collections and people who are going to wear them. So in my opinion, a brand or a designer should contribute to both sides. And according to this business model which I have developed, the price does not depend on the costs of the production and also not on the quality of the garment, but rather on the way the garment is going to be purchased and for how long. So where I am today is that I have developed this concept for a new way of designing and a concept for a business model which complements it but there are still some practical issues I need to solve. And for this, I need to talk to specialists such as lawyers and accountants to be able to offer you a complete working model which you can use within your own brand. So at the end of the journey, Paradigm Shift in Fashion would offer you 
a toolbox, a design system basically for creating desirable clothes for your customers, which would lead for more, to more appreciation. And at the same time, it also offers you a business model which makes those clothes affordable to your customers and ensures fair wages to the manufacturers. This is where I need your help. I need your help with resources for the finalization of the research and for the publication of the book. You could help by pre-ordering your book or by sharing this video with people who could be interested. Just imagine how much could change.